The goal of our mission is to undertake at least 50 first descents to try and gather the actionable data that Seychelles need to help inform and protect 30% of its vast ocean territory, which is equivalent in size to twice the entire United Kingdom. So our mothership is the Ocean Zephyr, um, and on board we've got a whole range of different scientists, uh, subsea technology experts, communications experts and media, as well as of course the ship's crew. At the heart of this mission is an alliance of partners that have been brought together from business, from academia, civil society and media, and it's with those partners that we've been able to make this mission possible. So our mission here is to understand the biological communities, who lives there, why they live there, and what they're doing for the environment, from the surface down to 500 metres. Now this is important because it's in these depths that we have both the highest diversity and the highest abundance of animals living. And that's incredibly important. So Seychelles Wa are able to both manage and protect these waters appropriately. We were approached by Necton and they were looking for broadband connectivity for submersible vessels. And uh, we talked to Cobham about that and both of us got enthusiastic because apparently we know as little from deep sea as we know from deep space. So we had to get into this. Our scientific objective is to try and gather baseline information about the state of the ocean around Seychelles. Um, and that ranges from the, the biology, the biodiversity, through to the water chemistry, to the impacts um, that humans are having in the area, whether it be from plastics, from overfishing, um, or from the heating of the ocean as well. So we have a range of different video cameras attached to our submersibles, our remotely operated vehicles and our scuba divers. It's really key for our scientists to collaborate with each other. As soon as we get uh, new footage, as soon as we get new specimens on the boat and try and understand together, collectively, what we had in front of us. So only Fleet Express would be able to reliably send those 4K images uh, from the submersibles to the broadcasters like Sky and CNN. And we had to connect them to the high-powered antennas from Cobham to make that really work. So that's where we went. Currently, we've been focused on the, the science that has come off the ship. But it's absolutely vital that we share that with the wider community. It has been very different compared to other expeditions that I have been to, where we had very limited connection and communication was a bit of a challenge. This here kind of enabled us to, to reach a wider kind of public and be able to do our work properly. And fundamentally, we wouldn't have been able to tell this story. We wouldn't have reached the millions and millions of people who have been inspired by the story we've been able to tell them. As a maritime organization, Immersat is living by the oceans and helping an institute like Necton to better understand what happens below the surface and the human impact on the environment is, is all what matters. Because if it helps to accelerate sustainability projects that allows us to deliver the oceans in a cleaner way for the next generation, that's all what matters for us. So from here on the ship, it's really important that we communicate with our colleagues, and the wider public. And we've only been able to do that with Imarsat and the amazing communications that we've had to be able to show the absolute unique pictures from the sea floor and us to get unique expert opinion from the shore. The Imarsat have been a critical partner supporting this mission across so many different areas. We've been able to broadcast live from our vessel and also from the deep sea to be able to bring the story of the deep ocean to audiences around the world in a profound new way. 